Hello everyone. What I have here are a group of Christmas presents that I got uh, for this past Christmas, uh, Christmas of 2011. I've had a few people ask me about these and wondering what they are, so um, I figured uh, just to make it easier, so, don't have, so I don't have to say everything like in text or something, I'll just um, I'll just make a video of them. So um, uh, we'll start from the uh, box there and work our way down, I guess you could say. Okay. Now over here we have uh, a table waterfall and it's a pretty cool because you can see um, it has a, a water wheel attachment and uh, if I remember correctly I think it has uh, some LEDs that light it up which is pretty cool but uh, either way I think I'm going to like this. Um, so uh, maybe once this is all together and filled with water maybe I'll make a video of that if, if any of you want to see. And now we got ourselves some books down here. A book, as you can see we got ourselves a nice book on sharks here because uh, some of you who probably know me very well already know I think, you know, these are the coolest animals ever. <laughs> and um, I'd love to read up about them, so um, this should be a pretty good read uh, for me uh, whenever the time comes when I open it up. And over here, we got ourselves three repair manuals. And all of you who know me, I always like to repair stuff and read up on machinery, so that's not much of a surprise. So we'll just start from the left here. As you can see, we got ourselves a repair manual for the Whirlpool Direct Drive washer. And um, I was very happy when I got this because, um, as you know, a lot of my videos are of our machine here. So I knew this would be a good read. Um, I think this manual itself came out in 1998. Um, but a lot of the content, like the pictures, goes back to like the late 1980s, you know, when the Direct Drive started becoming uh, more popular. And, um, I may, like, uh, wait, uh, yeah, I may, um, show you some pictures, but I'm just, of it in another, in another video, but I'm just not sure, because I'm not, I don't know if there'll be any, like, uh, issues with copyright with that or whatever, so, um, I may or I may not do it, because you'll see some differences in the pictures, like, I know in this manual it shows, like, the motor coupling, it was made a lot different back then, so that was kind of cool to see on how some of the parts have changed over the years. So, um, that'll be another fun read for me. And um, over here you can see we got two dishwasher repair manuals, uh, one being a Whirlpool and one being GE because uh, um, the dishwasher at my brother's place is Whirlpool and the dishwasher here is GE. So um, uh, my brother actually got me both of these repair manuals and um, uh, you know obviously he knows me very well so um, this should be another fun read for me. And um, uh, let's see, I think this one, this, this uh, manual is from 91, and that one's from 1990, so, um, they're, they're pretty old, but I mean, you know me, I, older new, I love repair manuals, so, that'll work well for me. Those are pretty cool. Um, over here we got, um, air conditioning and refrigeration repair made easy. Um, this should be pretty fancy because, um, it's not often that our air conditioning, uh, requires repair, um, and in fact our refrigerator has never been repaired, it's 21, almost 22 years old and never been repaired, so that's nice, but, you know, when I have my own house someday, this will be good for me to, um, you know, keep on hand and uh, just learn about stuff like that. You can save a lot of money when you uh, learn how to fix your own stuff. <laughs> And this next book is uh, Mapping the, the Trail of a Crime. Um, I used to watch, uh, well, back when uh, True TV was Core TV, I used to watch that channel a lot more back then because, honestly, I think it was better. I mean, maybe it hasn't changed much, but to me it has. But I always like um, watching things like Forensic Files or things like that, which um, I guess you could say, you know, ex explain crime scenes, how they solve stuff like that and how they work with it. So, um... Uh, so, uh, you know, learning stuff like this uh, would be pretty interesting for me. Maybe some of you like that too, but um, looks like it'll be pretty good. Uh, another good read. And those of you who keep tabs on newspapers, whether it's actual paper or online, I'm sure many of you know that famous comic Zitz. Uh, oh, ever since I was in middle school, I loved reading the Zitz comics. They always gave me a good laugh in the beginning of the day, and... Um, uh, I always enjoy uh, reading them in the morning, and as you can see, this book has a good amount of pages, so there should be plenty of things for me to um, uh, to laugh at here, and I'm really I'm really looking forward to this. And over here, you can see we got they got me some repair tools because as like I said, I'm always working on stuff around here, as you've seen from my videos. One's um one's a pair of multi pliers, I think it's called. Interesting to see how that will work. And over here we got, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? Oh yeah, got ourselves a, a screwdriver set. 
Um, I already have a small toolbox upstairs that my dad actually got for me back when I started college. So uh, in addition to that, this will be very handy. So I'm really going to enjoy this. And here's another book. I maybe should have put it up there with the others, but who cares? Um, how your car works. Um, I never really worked on cars much, but I do know some about their operations, and um, this will come in handy too because, um, again, more machinery. So um, that'd be a good. That'd be another good read for me. Let me see if you can get up there and um, see if you can see the. Uh, it doesn't look that bad, I guess. Just so you can read that stuff. And the last thing we have here is one of those, you know, stainless steel wallets, you know, those wallets that are designed to help protect, like, you know, credit cards or whatever from being scanned. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to put this on at some point, but the one I have now is still in pretty good shape, so I may use it until it wears out. I don't know. That, decision's, uh, still, that decision still hasn't been made yet, so I guess we'll, we'll just uh, see where it goes from there. And for the most part, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other present that is not here right now is um, I also got a, a Pictionary for Christmas because I'm good with stuff like that. Um, I decided to leave that at my brother's place because um, that's that's pretty much where it's going to be played most of the time. So I just decided to leave it there. But um, these four these four books on top, I'm really looking forward to looking at. So hopefully all of those will go well. And. All right. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. And as usual, thanks for watching.